Hello, welcome back to Farmer's Wife Homestead. I'm Stacey, if this is the first time we're meeting. Welcome back to the Farmhouse Kitchen. Oh, we are doing something so incredibly, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Exciting for me, because I've wanted to do this for such a long time. We're going to be making, I got myself a soap kit, and we're gonna be making some soap. It does three bars. Been wanting to do soap making for years, but I actually ordered these, I just had a look at the packaging, um, from Amazon back in June, and it's still wrapped up. Every time I go to town, I always forget to get the lie. <laughs> um, so I brought a book, and I brought... Oh, oh, it's like Christmas. Christmas all over again. I didn't realise it came with a scraper thingy. Um, a cutter and some bags and two molds um, but that's going to be for a different time so well, I just wanted to show you I actually bought them I will link everything um, that I got in the description below but yeah in the new year we will have a go at making it from scratch but I wanted to get a kit and I picked up this kit from Spotlight which is a sh like a craft shop in New Zealand. It's not only crafts, it's got fabrics and um, haberdashery, um, kitchenware, all that sort of stuff. I know I haven't even opened this but in the kit it was affordable. It was, I think it was about $18 and it's got everything in here to make your DIY wrapped soaps. And the reason why I'm doing it is because I'm making up some gift baskets for Christmas. I wanted like a homemade, handmade type thing um, to give away and um, we're going to be making these baskets together so everything that's going to go into them we'll be making in videos um, in the lead up to Christmas. So anyway, this makes three finished soaps and I liked the kit because A, I wanted to see if I enjoyed the process, which I know I'm going to, um, before I invested in more equipment and not so much equipment sorry because I've already got it but like the bulk stuff anyway I need my glasses but they're in the car um, it's got melt and pour soaps um, so that's like it's it's all it's all in there some molds fa fragrance um, craft paper wraps some glue decals twine and inspiration card and instruction booklet so yeah let's let's make this you know if you wanted to do something similar just head online another place that I like to use is pure nature and I will link them as well and you can get lots of kits I've actually already got a kit from them that we're going to make up but I'll tell you about that later but they've got soap making kits as well and I wouldn't mind getting their kit it's just got some packaging and um, safety instructions. Oh! Mountain Horse Soap. Oh, it's quite a lot. A little wee fragrance. And this one was coconut, which is great because coconut's my favourite. We've got contents of three paper wraps, three mini bells, and duke twine. This is, must be the glue. Yep, glue. Uh, mindful creations escape dream and create that is so cool enjoy the little things mindful creations I love that um, this is the instructions oh my goodness I wasn't expecting this and it's got some stickers that's so cool Oh, I'm going to have so much fun doing this. Okay, so, where did the instructions go? Ah, oh, yeah. Right, I'm going to read this. But what I'm going to do is, um, I'm just going to read it off camera and then I will bring you back. Okay, the instructions are slightly confusing to me. But we will have a look in here and see what, because this says 400 grams. And on the outside it says 400 grams. And it said there was a mould. Oh, 
that's the mold okay that'll be the mold so you have to do them one at a time okay that's now making more sense I just assumed there'd be three molds because it says it makes three soaps so there's the soap pack so it says it's 400 grams and it says place 130 grams of soap into a measuring cup and melt in a microwave using 30 second intervals stir the soap between intervals and continue this process until it's completely um, melted so I don't actually have a microwave um, and so what I'm going to do is use a little measuring jug that I don't mind um, only using for this kind of thing from now on and I'm going to have to make it up three times um, which is kind of annoying I wish that they had provided three of these because you need to let the soap sit undisturbed for a few hours or overnight until it's fully set and hardened and this is nowhere near enough to make up one of the big moulds the only other thing I can do is put the soap into some different moulds but I really wanted a bar I mean if you look at the thing there I really wanted the bar shape I've got silicon cupcake liners so I could put some in there and just have like smaller hand ones in the gift basket but that's not what I was wanting so so yeah that for me it's a little disappointing that they don't give you three of these so that is going to be a negative to this particular kit because now it's going to take three days to make three bars I'll do it anyway because that's that's what I need to do because I want to make the three bars um, I don't know I'll, I'll think about the process and we will go from there right it also says in the safety instructions um, even though I'm not like mixing up the lye and all the other fats um, myself um, it's already done it still says only use outdoors in a, or in a well ventilated area I've got the window open and I'll open the other window over there it says wear protective gloves clothing eyewear face protection wash all exposed external body areas thoroughly after handling um, and yeah so I've got my apron on I will put my hair up um, we will have some safety glasses somewhere if worse comes to worse <laughs> I might have to put on my reading glasses and that's just to prevent some splashes and the only gloves I've got is plastic gloves so that will be fine to just use those all right so um, I'm going to get all my bits and pieces for um, the measuring side of things so I'm just going to use this Pyrex um, dish I'm going to grab my um, measuring jar okay so I just went out to hubby's um, ute and I knew he'd have some safety glasses so we'll grab them they're a bit scratched up but that's all good I've grabbed my little um, scales not measuring jug I've got some gloves I mean longer gloves would be better and then I need to grab I'm going to grab a big pot and just something that it can sit in there and um, I'll take this off for now because it hurts my, my tan um, to start melting this soap and it does say let the soap sit undisturbed for a few hours or overnight until it has fully set and hardened so I'm starting this it's around 11 o'clock and hopefully it because it's such a small little mold it will harden quickly and and then um, I can unmold some do another list set unmold some and then yeah so that's the only negative so far about this particular kit um, but yeah, that's alright. So I'm just going to pop that in there. Make sure that the water is deep enough. Probably needs a little bit more. But we can add that afterwards. Want a knife. And it's 
says that we want 130 grams. So I'm going to move that down there. And I will just use all of this for soap making only. So I'm just going to tear that. And 130 grams, let's go with that for starters. 130, I, did I say? Oh, 116. So close. A little bit too much. 130. You don't want to boil the water because you do not want water to get into the soap itself. But I'm just going to pop my glasses on now and I'm going to find, I don't know if a wooden spoon would be better or just a plain spoon, probably just a plain spoon. So I'll grab that and we'll just start melting this down. Might just grab a little bit more water to put in there. So it comes up the side a little more. Right, we'll start with that. I'm gonna donate this spoon to the cause. <clears throat> right, I'll bring you back once once it starts melting. In the meantime, while we're waiting for that, I thought I might check out what's in this little pack here. I can hear little bells. Um, see what the packaging looks like. So we've got uh, three of these for wrapping the soap with, and that's another reason why I want to keep it as the bars. And Um, jute or string and three little three little bells and then we could grab you know some tinsel or uh, something else to make it a little more festive so yeah I was trying to convince myself that maybe I would get the silicone molds that I've got um, and use them though do have these. This is what I make my butter in. So I could pour some into here. That could work actually because the size is relatively the same. Very slightly fatter and obviously it would go only up to Probably about the half cup measure. So this could work actually. Ah, uh, yes. So we'll make one with this. And then we will make two and this. And that is what we are going to do. They're nice and clean. So I'm going to put that aside. Ah, oh, much happier now. See, you'll be able to look around your kitchen and come up with different ideas. Um, but that will work perfectly. Really might put something down underneath that so it doesn't jiggle like that. Just going to grab a cloth. And put that on the bottom starting to melt quite nicely now so in actual fact what I can do now is basically just melt all of it and yeah that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to put my glasses on and I'm going to melt the red uh, sorry sh um, slice up the rest I'll put it into thinner slices so it goes faster 
and we will melt all of it at the same time. I've just turned it down to a medium heat as well. Because I've got my window open. You can hear Mr. Brewster saying hello. Good morning, even though it's almost lunchtime. And I've turned it right down, so it may take a little while to do it this way. But of course, if you've got a microwave, you just do it in the microwave. I'm trying to mix it a little at the same time. Only because it's said to do that in the microwave. Like do it every 30 seconds and then mix it. It's definitely melting. But as you can see, that water is not boiling. It's not even simmering. I've only got it on half heat. And we'll just do this quietly. I definitely think this would be much easier in using the microwave but I'm just showing you that it can be done if you don't have a microwave. Maybe I should have not put them put it all in at the same time and just melted it a little bit by little bit that probably would have been easier. So I could actually take some of this out to make it a little easier. I'm going to grab some of these pieces out for a second. Just makes it easier for me to stir. And this is me troubleshooting for you guys in case you want to give this a go. That's better. Much better. And I've turned the heat slightly up as well. Much better. That's really starting to move along now. I've added more water down in the pan in the pot I should say and I'm just using a couple of toothpicks just to get around the spoon and around the pot and I'm just adding them little bit by little bit so yeah microwave will be definitely faster but you know, I've got time today. Of course, if um, you know you wanted to make more bars of soap, it would be so much more economical for you to to buy the stuff in bulk um, that you need. Um, like I've already got quite a lot of um, um, ingredients anyway. Um, but like I said, I keep forgetting to get the lye. Um, when I'm in town, but this little kit was just, you know, like it was just a great idea and just search online Like I said, I'll, I'll leave the links for for these ones and for um, if you're a Kiwi for um, pure um, Nature, I think it's called pure nature um, and They're great, you know, and it's from 14 onwards, you know, so like your teenagers can make it up and I just think it's cool. I just love the idea. Um, but it'd be a lot cheaper if you could, you know, not buy the kit. But this is a great way of getting started. Um, just a bit of a process, that's all, and that's all right. Um, haven't been feeling very well the last few days, so just been taking it easy. And um, this is a nice, relaxing video to, to put out. And all right, gonna keep stirring away. I mean, you could probably pour um, some of this melted stuff into um, one of the moulds already. Um, but I'm using the hot liquid to sort of melt the, the soap a little bit faster, hopefully. Still got that huge chunk down there. That's from the original. Which 
chunk that I'd put in there. So I might pour one of the moulds shortly. The one that came with the kit probably. So I'll just um I want to make sure that I've got enough melted soap to be able to do that though. Because I would imagine if I poured it in two, it would just not not look good. I think what I've decided to do is grab a little bit of my rolled oats, the quick oats, and just pour a little bit in the bottom. as a bit of an exfoliator and just for some texture I reckon that'll be quite cool I mean it'd be nice to add some honey but I don't know you know ratios and stuff like that so I'm not going to muck around with it Right, I'm going to work fairly quickly and I need to put some of the fragrance in. And it says just to do it to the smell that you want. good. Right, now I'm just going to pour it. Oh, it is still hot. Hopefully this is enough. And I don't mind if some of the oats have sort of come up through the bar. Now I'm just going to do the remainder. It's got bubbles. I wonder what I'm supposed to do about the bubbles. And I could pop them. Oh, it's already starting to set up. I think I'm going to do the same with these ones. Not too, too much. And then they're all oat ones, but these ones are slightly thinner this way. Um, so they're probably going to be slightly um slight you know thicker and I'm gonna bang this on the bench a couple of times to get the um, bubbles out work quickly. Oh, there was a little bit of a chunk in that one. That's perfect. It, both of them are at half a cup. 
and there's a couple of big bubbles that I'm just going to pop. Well, that was super exciting and super fun to make. Um, so basically I'm just going to do as it suggested, which was just to leave them be and let them set and harden and then I will come back tomorrow morning because it'll, it would have had, you know, a good gosh. Um, say if I start at nine, it's had all overnight and all of today, so it would definitely be hard by then. And we will come back and we will wrap them up and decorate them and I will give you my opinion on the soap kit and whether they are any good or whether you should just don't worry about using a soap kit and just go straight to getting your own stuff. So yeah, I mean it's definitely not cost effective. I got three bars of soap uh, at 133 grams-ish, um, a cake of soap. It, in New Zealand it used to be 80 grams I think they're down to about 70 now so that's about the equivalent of six things of soap um, so it's it's more expensive to buy the kits but everything was provided so yeah and and it's the fact that I made it myself and I put oats in it for the exfoliating side of things and you know it's it's about the joy all right so I will see you a little later on before I do that, here's my jug and my spoon is already starting to, to harden and I'm just going to let it all harden, okay, because I think it'll be easier to clean once it's all hardened and then I'll probably just use a knife to scrape it. Now a word of warning, I don't think this was in the instructions, but don't clean this equipment down your normal sink because this will clog up your sink so we will go um, I will come back and show you how I clean this up I've never done it before but I'm going to tell you how I'm going to clean it up and then we will come back tomorrow but also I've got loads of this oil left so that in itself is great because we didn't need to use it all. There's just no way. I mean, it said five drops for a bar and I used well over five drops per bar. So, yeah. Hello, welcome back. It's the next day and we are going to, um, I'm just going to show you a quick way that I'm figuring to clean, clean my equipment, this jug. Um, so I've got the spoon as well so I could probably um, like if you had the microwave you could definitely microwave it and then that would be quite easy but I'm actually just going to use the spoon as best as I can and I'm just going to scrape around and remember I'm going to just keep this one now for soap making and I've also grabbed a knife, just a butter knife, and obviously somebody's, probably me, not just somebody, not Mr. Somebody, um, used it as a, a Kiwi screwdriver. <laughs> so if I can't find a screwdriver, so I'll just grab one of these. So it's, the tip's just been a little bit bent. Um, oh, look at that, that just came off so easy. So I don't mind sacrificing this old one again you could use op shops to find all this kind of equipment costs you next to nothing although op shops have gone up in price quite significant since 2020 so i'm just going to yeah scrape everything and um it's a shame to waste all that wax though so what I could do is save it and I've got it when I'm melting down not wax I'm thinking about candles um, soap so if I buy another kit I've got a little bit extra it seems wasteful to um, waste all that so I'm going to put it in a little bag and yeah 
continue cleaning this up. As I said, don't put it down your sink. So if you do want to put hot water in it, just rinse it out um, into something other than like into your bin or something like that, rather than down your drains. Right, let's have a look. Is that bar? And then we've got the ones in here. Right. Let's try and unmould. I'm going to pick doing that will be the best. Oh, how exciting. Come on, Mr. Si oh my goodness, look at that. So the top is a different texture, like that's all shiny. I should have some gloves on, I'm going to get some gloves. I don't want fingerprints on it. So this is, these are just food grade gloves that I keep in my kitchen. So they've got the nice rounded edges on this side, this side not so much. Um, and this side has got the bubbles on it. So, I mean, you could cut it to make it look prettier. Um, and you can. I've seen people use a peeler just to give it a rounded edge. And again, don't waste these scraps. They can go in here. Um, and you probably could scrape it there, but it's a little bit divoted, so I don't think I'll bother. But that's just tidied up the edges a, li a little bit, so I'm happy with that. So that's good. Put this one aside, and let's try and get these two out. So I'm just going to do that. And pop them out. Just be careful not to break them. Ooh, okay, wow, that's cool, I love that. Again, I'm going to round off the edging. Yeah, I definitely like the rounded edges better. And I do like the oats in it. I'm looking out the kitchen window here and I can see the cat laying in the onion bed, squashing the onions. Oh, naughty cat. Right, there. Three bars of soap. So super happy. Don't they look amazing? Mmm. They've got that coconut smell. So what I am going to do is get a Sharpie and just write soap making on my equipment and I'm going to put it away somewhere separate okay so just grabbing the box out again We've got stickers little red bells and I've grabbed the thin I don't know I don't know if I want to use these but I've got them out anyway so I've got the paper and this is part of the great thing about having a kit right 
I might wrap them in two different ways. I'll, I'll give it a go. So these ones, mmm. fold and then just turn the ends in like that. And you could get some tape as it's, it's provided glue but I don't know that I want to use the glue. I mean it can go either this way or with the pretty fold but this sort of takes away from the pretty fold but yeah I could put a bow on this side and we put made with love love. Of course you don't have to use the stickers but they're there so I might as well. Yeah that's one. And the other way I thought you could do is this way because you can see the soap whereas the other way it's fully wrapped but with this way there's no mistaking what it is so that actually looks quite cool I quite like that 
just keep this one simple. Um, I quite like that way. I just need to cut this one down a little bit. And of course, if you make little wee soaps, you could use that one. And I'll use Christmas. fully wrapped it's kind of nice but I quite like that it's showing you that it's soap too so I'm super happy with that yay so we're going to start gathering lots of different ideas and things that we can make into gift hampers and baskets and things and um, you know like I've said in the thrift haul and a couple of the other videos um, it's all about the act of um, giving and um, I'm really into the making as much as you can on a budget and it from the heart you know you're giving aroha which is love Okay, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. Is a kit worth it? After all, that's what uh, the title of the video is. And I say absolutely yes. I love that everything is within the kit. Um, the only negative I had was that there was one mould. Um, but we worked through with that. And I'm sure you can come up with a million different ideas that you've got in the kitchen. Or you could go and thrift to find um, a, a good way to do it. I mean, at the end of the day, like... That's, that was the moulded one. That was the one that I came up with. Absolutely love it. Yeah, love it. Oh, Christmassy. All right, thank you for joining me. Um, if you want to, um, somebody suggested um, that I let them know what they need for the candle making session. Buy yourself some wax. Um, wooden wicks or just normal, um, I don't even know what they're called, hang on I'll just go and grab them. Uh, I grabbed these when I got the soap making kit, so it's just candle wick pre-waxed. So I've got large ones because I can cut them down, but I really really would love to get some wooden wicks, um, but I didn't grab them at the time. And oh, made the start of last year, oh I've just opened the bag, I purchased a one kilo block of pure beeswax and oh the smell I can't tell you I think I paid around $22 for a kilo of it but I will leave um, the link in the description in New Zealand where you can buy this I think it's called um, a place called Bees Knees but as I said I will link it so you can go ahead and buy some um, of course you can buy soy wax you can buy all sorts of wax but I really wanted pure beeswax candles so that's going to make a lot of candles for $22 of course the, the price may have gone up since I bought them so I'm just going to put the candle making stuff in there I've never made candles before so I need to do a bit more research before I um, you know make them with you guys and um, we will go from there alright so I will see you on the next episode um, and 
it's a, another cooking one. Um, I've had this idea in my head since I made the apple turnovers, so we're going to do something with the leftover mix of the apple turnover filling. And what else? And then we will get to more gift making for some platters and baskets and things like that. And we will also get into the food side of things as well. Alright, thanks for joining me again and I hope you're well and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.